been, like I said, over 20 years in town. Um, put, you know, a couple of kids through the school system here. One through it. One is a junior uh, this year. So uh, happy with, with how that all turned out. And, um, you know, really got involved in the running community early on in my time in Hopkinton. So joined the Hopkinton Running Club in this first year that it started, which was 2003. And, uh, you know, been a pretty active member in the club uh, throughout the, you know, almost, you know, I guess tw um, almost 20 years, 18 mm -hmm. years that the club's been around. Uh, now, were you a runner before that? Yeah, I was. I mean, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> you know, I'm what's called a back of the pack runner. You know, I, <laughs> I take my time uh, running these races. So I have run quite a few races. Um, to date, I've run 15 marathons and uh one ultra and you know a whole slew of half marathons 5ks 10ks and things like that okay. so um pretty active in the running community wait what's an ultra uh ultra is anything over a marathon so that's uh i did a 50k which was uh 31 miles that no was in, uh, yeah 2017 wow so, how, how hard was that uh, that was not fun. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was uh, a long, long, arduous night. Uh, it started at seven o'clock at night, and just you ran till you decided to stop running. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was wow. tough. It was tough. Wade talked a bit about the history of the Sharon Timlin Memorial 5K. Um, standing event director prior to me was Abby Rosenberg, who um, did a fantastic job. Her and her team over the years. Um, you know, really uh, made this race what it is today, and they did a fantastic job with that. And I think the um, it started again in 2004, and really in conjunction with um, the uh, Angel Fund. So we did a they did a lot of work with the Angel Fund and raising money for ALS research, and that was. You know, how the name came about, uh, the Sharon Timlin Memorial Race was named after Mike Timlin, former pitcher for the Red Sox, named after his mom, who had, um, uh, who, who had passed away from ALS, uh, uh, you know, many years ago. And uh, really, um, that's sort of how it, the whole thing started and became with, with the work with the Angel Fund and the ALS research um, over the last, I think this is the 18th year of the race. Uh, has um, raised over $2 million for research and 100% of the funds you raise go right to the Angel Fund. Uh, and the, uh, it's a C actually the Cecil B. Day Laboratory, UMass Medical. Wade also talked about what the race will look like this year. Decided that given everything going on and things are just so much up in the air as far as when we can have large gatherings again and when something like a Timberland race can really kick off and happen um we decided just to start from this just start off going virtual um okay just go instead of going down two paths at the same time um you know let's what happens when we're virtual versus what happens when we're in person we just went down the virtual path uh, yeah. how do you have um this event virtually what does that look like so again people will run um a 5k whether that's um and again a lot of these logistics were still kind of tweaking um okay. so a lot of um you'll run a 5k um and then you'll up you'll upload your time to the website that you register on so we've used run sign up for our registration um well you'll run a 5k and you'll upload your time is that upload is, uh, you know, in, in the form of data from your watch or maybe you just type it in yourself. Those are some of the logistics we're working on. Yeah. Um, and again, we're, we're really just trying to make this um, a fun event. Um, and so last year, I think if, if you go to our website, which is SharonTimlinRace.org, you can see some of the 2020 pictures that were up there. And a lot of people were uploading their pictures and families were, um, you know, wearing their Sharon Timlin shirts, going out for a run. And, and uh, it was really a, a good time. We had, you'll see a lot of things on there. We had a virtual toast with the, um, the completion of the race with Mike Timlin and his family. 
there's um, you know the a virtual Star Spangled Banner that somebody uh, sang and recorded. So you can really pull a lot from the website, and we'll we'll try to keep some of that uh, for this year as okay. well. Now you had mentioned that there is a, a registration fee, and that's where a lot of your um, raising comes mm -hmm. from. Uh, I got a question that I'm seeing here. Do they accept donations? Yes. So um, once the site is, uh, again, once things are set up, yes, we will accept donations. Um, you can either do that just through the website um, or you can um, support somebody who's a team member. I think we'll have a list of teams out there. Um, or you can also, um, uh, you know, uh, reach out to me. Um, probably my... Uh, the best way to reach me, as I'll put it out there now, my email address is uh, Wade M, W A Y D E M, 1969 at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Um, okay. And certainly we'd we'll, we'll love to, uh, we'd love to help, help you, um, you know, help, help people uh, donate to the cause. And, um, you know, the other thing too is that it's, it is, um, Father's Day weekend that weekend. So we're hoping, you know, a lot of families will run with dad and, and, and share some of that, um, share some of the photos with us and their experiences.